So now we're going to do a burglar alarm. Mm -hmm. And we are doing this alarm in order to understand a bit about what if statements are, because it's a thing that we use in programming quite a lot. Yeah. So Nils, what is an if statement? So an if statement is a thing you use if you want to uh, check if something is true or not. And then if it's true, uh, a certain thing will happen in your program. If it's not true, something else will happen in your program. So in order to understand the if statements in this burglar alarm, mm -hmm. we are going to use the light sensor yeah. on the microbit. And it will sense a sort of threshold of how light or dark it is. And depending on that value, if it becomes light, we want the microbit to send out an audio signal. Yeah, we want some, some sound, some noise. Yeah coming out. So the input <laughs> is the light sensor and the output is audio. Yeah. So we will need this uh, if statement. Yeah. And where do we find that? This you will find in the logic category. So I open logic and there are several different statements here. You can make them quite big by building together uh, pieces, but we, in this case we only need one if statement. If it is light, we want sound. So now uh, we have the if statement, but we want the sound part. So sound, or the uh, light part. Yeah, let's start we, with the light. We want to understand uh, uh, the light coming in. And that is an input. Mm -hmm. So we go and look and find the light level here. Mm -hmm. So we'll take out the light level. And you can see when you have the light level selected as a block in your editor, you get a uh, bit of a help text. Uh, and there it will show you that uh, this light level gives you a zero when it's fully dark and 255 when it's fully bright. So we would want to find a threshold, a level somewhere on that spectrum, which would know if it's light or if it's dark. Yeah. And it can be a bit tricky to find the sort of right number there. Yeah, but it, it's basically you just try upload your program, try it out, see if it works, and change the value to something that fits you. So we want to know if the light level is larger than a certain value. Than a certain value. So here we choose larger than or greater than. And we put the light level in. Yeah. And we need to set this, oops, we need to set this value. And what should we set it on? Somewhere between 0 and 255. Yeah. So 100, perhaps? Yeah, we can start with 100. So now we know that if the light level is above 100, what we want light? this sound to yeah. happen. But we haven't uh, put in the sound yet. So we need to do that, obviously. So we go to music category. Mm -hmm. And inside of the music category, there's also several different things. But in this case, we will use the play tone C for one beat. And there we have the beat. Yeah, but it's only very short. We only hear it once. And that's because when this program uh, runs, it checks if it's bright, then it plays the sound, and then the program ends. So we want, we want our microbit to check all the time whether or not it's bright. So, so we'll mm. insert the forever loop. Exactly. And put it around. So. Now, we see in the simulator that the light level is over 100. And now that it's below 100, the it sound stops. stops. Yeah. Uh, and in this, uh, I see that the picture changed here as well yeah. on the sensor. As soon as you drag in uh, the music part, the play tone block, uh, the simulator picture changes. Uh, to show you how you can connect uh, a headphone uh, cable to your microbit to get the audio out of it. So uh, up to the left here, we have already explored the light sensor and mm -hmm. regulating that. And now we see this three and a half millimeter uh, headphone jack. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's uh, transfer the code to the microbit and plug things in. Yeah. So I'll download the code. And we connect the USB cable. Yeah, and I'll open the finder. And there we have the code. 
So I'll upload the code. And then we look on the back side, and we see that the light is blinking, meaning that the file is being transferred. There we go. There we go. So now we're going to take these crocodile clamps. Yeah, because we can see the guide here in the uh, code, the microbit.com editor. We can see that we are going to take one crocodile clamp and put it towards zero. Mm -hmm. We take our crocodile clamp, put it on the zero, and the other end of this put cable. That on the headphone jack's outer pin. That one. Then we take the other cable, the crocodile clamp that is yellow, and we put it on ground. It's GND on the micro bit. There. And we connect that to the innermost pin on the headphone jack. And then we can hear the alarm go off. The alarm go off. So if I put my hand over the sensor, so now we're in a dark room. And when I open the room and light comes in, the alarm goes off. Yeah. So in this way, we have made our own small burglar alarm, and we've understood a bit about how if statements work. <laughs>